Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to unite one Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Foodie Beauty, Flobby Bobby, Chantopolis, Big Beautiful Me, The Daily Chantal, The Chantal Show, The Whoever Whatever, in marriage with Sala. Could you all please join me in reciting these vows to one another? Chantal Marie, do you promise to love this man, give him all your money, and marry him even though you've known him all of two seconds? I do. And Sala, do you promise to take this woman for all she's worth and scam the shit out of her? I do. Well, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride, bestie. Hey, everybody. It's me, Zach. This is Judy. And welcome back to our channel. Now, I had this big goal, lofty idea, situation type of deal that I was going to come back from my trip to New Orleans and I was going to recap all the goofiness and silliness and ridiculousness that was Chantal's life while I was gone because, you know, I really thought she was going to be doing a series of just, like, videos. She said she wasn't going to do live streams anymore. And you know what the fuck she's doing again today, these days, all days, every day? Fucking live streaming, y'all. <laughs> she is out here live streaming away deleting live streams, posting on her community tab every two seconds, deleting stuff on her community tab every two seconds. And I was just like, I was going through Twitter and I was like bookmarking as many things as I could. So I was like, I got to catch up. I got to catch up. And it's just like, ooh, she really hasn't changed whatsoever. Now she puts out this big idea that she's going to change. Like the hijab is just going to change her life and she's suddenly going to be this great new person. But I think what we've learned since I last made a video about her a week ago is that she's still a freaking mess. An absolute terror of a mess. And now I'm getting ready to go on another trip to <laughs> another location. And I, I, I have yet to catch up. I haven't had the, the opportunity to catch up. So just a few things that I did see that are of note is she definitely got called out by Pete's for being high multiple times. Why am I starving? Is your life? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> Not because of that. <laughs> that would be that would yeah, that would be the speculation. I'm not confirming or denying, okay, guys? So don't call me a liar. Whatever, God. You think you're God? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You're lying. No, I'm just tired and freaking hungry. I'm actually really hungry. Hold on. So that behavior hasn't changed. She also was raging on stream, I think, but also just at a minimum on her community tab post, like raging, but also making fun of the way people look.
she is in big denial that Sala might potentially be a scammer, might still be out there looking for, for other people to scam because multiple people have found him on Tinder. <laughs> He's still out there swindling the ladies. Now, she denies all of it. She denies all of that being true. She says it's fake. But she was upset about it enough that she posted a community tab post at one point getting upset that people were posting personal dating profiles on the internet. And she also got a video removed from a channel called Piggy that was about him still being active on Tinder. I believe there was also an allegation, surprise once again, that she's being racist. Now, I don't know what stream this happened on. I don't think it's up on her channel anymore, but I honestly believe it. <laughs> I find it to probably be true. She, I think I did see some clip where she said, oh, I was talking about a white person, so how can I be racist? I don't know. If you're using a word that is offensive, then maybe just don't. Like, maybe just don't don't do it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just literally, it's so impossible to catch up and keep up with everything. Um, and, oh, did I mention, I mean, I know I performed the fake wedding, but she claims she's getting married to this man. She claims she's getting married to this man. A woman who can't be consistent about anything in her life is getting ready to allegedly get married to a man she met a week or two ago. Okay? And by met, I mean they've talked on the phone, FaceTime, through, through the DMs on the Tinderella. Now, I don't really believe that she's getting married to this man. I believe that she might believe that she's going to get married. I don't think it'll happen. I honestly think this man is scamming her. And while I don't want to see anybody get scammed by anybody, it's just like... Chantal refuses to see any kind of red flag anywhere. She's colorblind. She's colorblind and refuses to see it. It looks like a, a, a gray flag to her because she can't seem to see the red. But the thing is, is there's no red flags. You people are making up things for drama and it, none of it's true. Like, at all. Do you people spend hours and hours a day with this person? And don't forget, oh, well, when does he have time to work? Um, seven hour time difference. What about that? We make it work. You people don't know how I live my life behind the scenes. You have zero authority to say anything. You have zero grounds to say anything that you don't know about. So it's like, and the fact that you revel in possibly somebody's downfall makes you a bigger piece of shit than the person you're criticizing. And the fact that you don't realize that makes you an insane moron. And I love that for you. Like, seriously, all of you are bigger pieces of crap than me because you all criticize me when you're not angels. You do more fucked up shit. And all you do is just criticize someone to the point of it turning into bullying. You're insane. So yeah, I'm sure I missed something in there. It's like literally, truly impossible at this point to have it all. And the point of today's video is actually none of that. Well, I did want to do the fake wedding ceremony. I felt like y'all might appreciate that. But uh, the, the point is, is that literally uh, moments before I'm filming this, probably like a couple hours ago at, at most, she posted a video called A Message for All the Desperate Women Out There, which is just like, without even watching it, so rich. So rich that she would have the audacity to uh, call anybody desperate. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be throwing stones in your glass house, Chantal. It's not probably a, gonna be a good look for you, considering how desperate you were for Nader and how desperate you are for this man currently in, in this present time. So I thought it would be fun to react to that video. So that's what we're gonna do. A classic good old actual reaction to Chantal. No recap of nothing. I'm sure if you want to get caught up on all of that stuff you missed while I was not actively covering her, uh, you could probably go find a reaction channel that's doing it. But we're gonna react to this one right now, right here at this moment. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? <laughs> I'm so glad she brought the intro back for this. I'm so glad. Thrilled. Thrilled. Hi, Marhaba. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Did, yes. did she mention that, like, I know she says she's wearing the hijab to be respectful 
uh, to to this new man in her life. Is is her saying words in Arabic? Is that is that her being respectful to him as well? I'm I'm just curious. I'm genuinely just trying to understand why why she's. I mean, I guess she's trying to learn the language for him. I don't know. I have decided to do a video to talk a bit about. I guess just what's on my mind. Okay. And I didn't really feel like going live. Let's As talk you know, girly. Kind of I love that you got the, the, the fake girl voice on. Somebody referred to it as her QVC voice, and I <laughs> I lost it. So, yes, thanks for the QVC voice. Let's go. I, I know exactly who this girl is, and it's not the real Chantal. In weird moods. And sometimes I just feel like doing videos. Okay. So. Oh, quirky. I'm just wanting quirky. to... I, I drink a whole jug every day. Quirky. A quirky girl. I guess talk about some... I don't know if it's like prejudices or what you would call it, but definitely misconceptions. Chantal talking about prejudices when she's a whole ass bigot? <laughs> when she's an entire ass bigot? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. And this is going to sound super saudi, but I want Why are we zooming in? out there to know that if you are so desperate that you have to enter the DMs of somebody that I'm involved with, ah! try to, ah! I need you to know that any reply you get from anyone calling themselves Sala... Like, they even have the nerve to pretend <laughs> to be that worthy. Does she not remember when this exact same thing happened with Daughter Doodle Do? I don't know if I actively covered all of that mess on my channel, but girls were sliding into the DMs of Daughter Doodle Do, and she was just like, no, 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 and it was real. Jessica Mesco was one of them. Don't you remember when I covered her little love triangle with garlic bread? Jessica Mesco was one of them. It's sliding into the DMs. People, they're sliding. They're slipping and sliding, girl. They're, they are slipping and sliding into those DMs, and if your man is out here telling you it's fake, I would like to see the proof that it's fake. You positive? You don't even live in the same country as him. How can you how can you tell whether it's true or not? To even enter his DMs, any reply you get is fake because this man spends hours on video call with me. With every you? Day. Hours? All day? Every single second accounted for, girl, you're you're full of it. You're full of it. I know that's not true just because I watch you get on live stream when you're not talking to him. Bessie, don't play. Don't play games. Shows me screenshots of every single person trying to follow him. Has all comments turned off. Is not accepting new friend requests anywhere. And his dating app that you're so hanging on to uh -huh. as proof that this man doesn't uh -huh. love me. The, and she, she is so smug. She is so fucking smug right now. Girl, you better get off that high horse because you are going to crash a bird so hard once this man takes you for all your fucking money and, and then you get scammed by the mansion situation that you're supposed to be moving into. Girl, 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 girl. Ma'am. Please, you're so gullible, just like you all accuse me of being. Oh, you are. I'm sorry. Or should I say, I apologize if I sound bitter. You... <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bitter. I'm you're bitter? What, what do you have to be bitter about? You, why are you bitter? Trying to do better for my life, and I have people everywhere trying to pull me back down into the stinky bog with them. Not, not FFG's face on a, on a, what is that even? Is that, is that a, an alien or something? Is this a reference I'm supposed to get that I don't get? Is that a troll? Troll pulling you down into the bog? You can stay there. I'm moving on up. Oh, <laughs> to where? <laughs> to where? Where are you moving on up to? I'm getting married. I'm going to live an amazing life. This move is happening. She is I'm blowing up so, in life, behind the scenes. And she's from so now ridiculous. On, I'm only allowing you whatever privacy I want to give you. And honestly, the way things are going to be going with my channel, probably not much. Well, if, if you stop sharing stuff about your life, what is your what what exactly will your channel be about, Chantal? Just like for real, for real. What what could you possibly do on your channel to make it 
interesting in any kind of way if you don't show anything about your life. That makes no sense to me either. My privacy is something I have not valued. Sh- for sure. Life. Absolutely. Absolutely you haven't valued it. I've seen far too much of you on my Twitter that I did not ask to see. I've seen parts of you that I didn't ask to see. I didn't pay to see. I wouldn't pay to see. You you really, you, you sure have not valued your own privacy. I see people, desperate reaction channels and desperate women, trying to break this up, but it's not going to happen. No. Why would Sala... And listen carefully. Wait, 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 wait. They're try they're trying to break you up. You think that's why they're reaching out to this man? I mean, certainly I think there are some people who probably are because people are weird. I think people did that with Nodder Doodle Doo, and I thought that was weird. But I would say most people are doing it to 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 dunk on you, to troll you. <laughs> most people, most people are not, their interest is that they want to expose this man for being a scammer, which honestly I'm conflicted about because like at this point, I'm kind of here to just see the, the, the train wreck of a scam that this is going to be like allegedly, maybe that's my speculation. I don't know that I love that people are meddling in it. Cause I kind of just want to watch it all play out, but that's why people are, are doing this Chantal. <laughs> they're, not, they're not trying to make you jealous. The only one desperate for some random ass man uh, is you. I don't know. And if if they are desperate, they're only as desperate as you are to be in this relationship to begin with. Ladies, why would Sala go for you girls when he has a Canadian queen like me? You make no sense. <laughs> That one took me out. That one, that one, she, that took me way the fuck out. Anyway, I'm just terribly bored with all the speculation I'm seeing. Ah! And I have to tell you, none of it's true. If you, if you were terribly bored with it, girly, you wouldn't be sitting here making a nine and a half minute long video about it. You're obsessed with it. You're living and thriving off of this, bestie. I want to just say, if I'm being scammed... Why has he not made any videos to try to leech off my YouTube channel? No, because that's not the scam. That's not the grift, girly. The scam and the grift is that he's going to take you for all your money and run. <laughs> that's the scam and the grift. You're, you're just thinking he's not scamming me like Nodder did. You're just thinking Nodder scammed me by making a channel to leech off of me. He's not doing that, so I can't be getting scammed right now. Foolish. You, you're thinking he's scamming you because that's what Roman did, Nodder did. But no, this is a different, this is a different scam, girly. Why has, why has he not been pushing me to do content? Why has he promised to take care of me as my husband? Uh-huh. This is what a real man does. I have found myself a real man. Yes, halfway across the world. You are so goofy. I used to say that Amber Lynn was trying to get the lead role in the Goofy Movie reboot, but it's it's this. you. This is a perfect audition. It's a vast world. Why am I going to be closed-minded and limit myself to someone here? Sala no. is my soulmate. He happens to be in another country. Girly, you, you, don't, you haven't even met him. You've known him for two weeks. So we're going to make it happen. I can. And I will. Okay, let's. I, I, I can't wait to see it. me for citizenship. Number one, we don't have green cards here. Sponsoring a spouse, yes, it's a big process. It's not just quick and easy like that. That's that's also not that's also not the scam though. That's not the scam. You're gonna wire him some money for a plane ticket so he can invest in some property so he can do I, who who the fuck knows what. But that's the scam. That's the grift, girl. He wants your money. Who says he's even coming here right now? I. I didn't. I didn't say that. But what do you mean? It's our personal business. That that sounds like exactly what a girl who doesn't want to talk about 
all the the potential red flags would say. It's it's my business. You, in fact, I have heard her. I I jumped into one stream that she was doing at some point. And she was like. She was like, y'all don't know him. Y'all don't know him. Girl, that's what you said about Nodder too. Girl, we can see the red flags. You can't. You you can't see him like we can. This is the thing. I even saw a rumor that he has no family. How are people I making know. these claims when they don't even know sure. us? They sure, don't sure, sure. know anything. Sure. And guess what? You're not going to. I have every right to my privacy. I'm taking back my privacy. Do you it. Put Every do it. Video, every do it. Now. You're you're taking back your privacy, but you're thrilled to announce you're married. To, you're gonna marry this man. Okay, 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 okay. You you want your privacy? Get get your privacy, girl. I'm not keeping you from that. Every picture of me you want of my past, and that hasn't scared him away. He knows who I am. He knows I'm food and beauty. Hasn't scared you away because, or you haven't scared him away because he wants your money, girly. And he loves me for me. As a person, I have a lot to offer. Just because I, p girl, let me, <laughs> let me, let me get this magnifying glass out because I can't seem to find what it is you have to offer. I can't seem to find it at all. I can't find a single thing you have to offer. Pick my nose in old videos means I'm not worthy of love. Okay. Or because maybe because I went through a hard time and I was in an abusive relationship and resorted no. to drugs. The, the, you you named two things that, you know, honestly could be forgiven. You haven't mentioned that you're a bigot. You haven't mentioned all the hateful things you've said over the span of time on your channel. You haven't mentioned those things. I, I, I would never shame somebody for uh, having an addiction or things like that. Like, I would never shame somebody. I, you think I've never picked my nose before? You think I've never farted or burped before? Like, girly. <laughs> girly. You might, though, want to circle back to all the times you were a bigot. You might want to address that. You might want to come to peace with that. To cope with things, so that's going to be rubbed in my face over and over. Nice try, but no. I don't live in the past. You guys do. I'm moving forward, and so are my beezers. Oh, wow. My loyal beezers, okay. and that's all that matters. Okay. And the rest, well... Well, what? Whatever. Also, well, whatever. What do you mean? Well, whatever. What do you mean? Well, whatever. If you didn't care what other people had to say, you wouldn't have been filling your community tab with all these hateful posts about all the reaction channels you don't like. And you wouldn't have included that poorly photoshopped picture of FFG in this video. I would like everyone to reach out to people who are having their names mispronounced. Sure. Over and over. Sure. Go ask them if that matters. It it does. Go ask them if that matters. Uh, it does. I don't I don't know. I think she's addressing like she's made claims that I and again, I you know me over here. I stay in my lane. I don't watch a lot of other reaction channels, but I think I've seen that people are like intentionally mispronouncing or like giving nicknames to Sala. I don't know what those things are, and I do think that that's racist if you're like purposely mispronouncing somebody's name. It happens to people from other cultures that, you know, when, when like a Western person or <laughs> somebody from America or Canada is like, I can't figure out how to say your name even after it's pronounced for them over and over and over again. Yeah, that's like pretty rude and fucked up. But to have, <laughs> to have the bigot Chantal out here lecturing about anything, about anything, <laughs> like, are you serious? How how do you think Sala would feel about all the times you referred to Nodder as a camel? Are, like, are you fucking kidding me right now, bestie? I will let you know there's one um, reaction channel particularly who keeps being racist um, just because that's the only way they feel they can get to me out of desperation. Uh -huh. But every harassment is being documented and noted, and I'm actually in Ooh. contact with a representative from YouTube about Sh a lot of things. Shut shut the front door. You are not. <laughs> you are not. She She's always saying she's in touch with a, a representative from the YouTube. Sh put up or shut up, girl. Show the proof. Show the proof. I don't believe a thing you got to say about that. And girl, no. Please. This might take a while. Maybe, I don't know how long. How, I mean, I guess while they look into it. But, um, 
<laughs> Meaning you you have no idea and they're probably not going to do anything. <laughs> you have no idea and they're probably not. You love, you love a, a vague threat like that. I'm not, I'm, I'm tired of not fighting for my rights in any way. The rights to my privacy. I need to take responsibility for myself. What? But the only the only reason you don't have any privacy is because you've been broadcasting your life for the past like year and a half on live streams. Okay, so that's on you, girly. No, nobody is taking your right of privacy away from you except you. But where's the community's responsibility and everything? So it's okay to just be racist and just say racist things now. And let let me go find a fucking mirror. Because I, I want to hold it up so she can look at herself while she's saying this bullshit. I want to hold this mirror up. I don't have, I can't, I'm like, do I even, could I even go get one small enough? I don't think I have one small enough. But just imagine there's a mirror here and I'm holding it up for her so she can say this shit to herself. Are you kidding me? So the onus is still on me for that, right? Because of something, um, uh, a comment I made a long, 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 long time ago that wasn't even racist. You, you made a comment literally that was racist while you were in Cuba. How, what are we saying is a long, 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 long time ago? Because that was just a few months ago, if I recall correctly. Yeah, okay. You're all crappy. And every time you do something racist like that, I will report you. <laughs> all right, so just a brief history. Not, not you putting Charlie Gold in here when your the start of your racism started with Charlie Gold. The start. <gasps> you know what? I'm so glad she put this picture in here because I remembered I got this little play button and it has a mirror. So I'm just going to hold this so she can look at herself as she's talking about racism because this, this is a message she needs to hear. But yeah, the racism... Like, the first racism I really remember started with Charlie Gold, when she called her Charlie Cole, and then for her apology video, ate fried chicken, and Pete's did all the apologizing, even though Pete's wasn't the one that said it to begin with. Oh, she has some fucking nerve today. The audacity. On this racism accusation, which is so contrived and so far fetched. No, it's not it's contrived at all. Insane, but anyway. It's not contrived this person, at all. Charlie Gold was a reaction channel up my butt and around the corner since I started YouTube, basically. Up my butt and around the corner? I haven't heard that shit since literally third grade. Fat shaming me for years, using my content for years, and one day I snapped, and since she liked to make fun of my name and everything else, you know, I decided to call her instead of Charlie Gold because she definitely isn't. Are, are we going back now? Because I thought you, the whole point of your apology video is that you acknowledged that even if it wasn't what you intended, what you said was racist. Which I don't believe that you didn't intend it that way, first of all. But second of all, it doesn't matter what your intent was. It was fucking racist. And people literally gave you PowerPoint presentations to tell you about it. Listen, you need to look in the mirror, Chantal. The value of gold and doesn't is not shiny like gold is what I was referring to. Not her skin color. The color of her soul was coal. Her personality is coal. She is valueless she, like coal. She's so Her goofy right now. Coal, this is so gold. goofy. It was a play on This is the so term fucking goofy. Gold. The opposite are you, of gold. Are you looking at yourself right now, Chantal? You can look right into my play button. It's very shiny, reflective. I guess in my brain, call me stupid, fine, but I'm not racist. You're stupid What's and gold? racist. You're stupid and racist. Instead of gold in my mind was coal. Now, if Charlie's name was Charlie Christmas. And and I Charlie's name isn't Charlie's Christmas. That's not her name. That's not her name. So this, this point is irrelevant, Bestie. That's not her name. Called her Charlie Cole. Then yes, I would agree that that is very racist. The fact that gold and Cole rhymes? Bestie, what in the fucking Dr. Seuss cat in the hat makes you think that rhymes? Do you, do you know what that, what the word rhymes means? The fact that gold and coal rhymes and are matter related are the only motivators to me having made that comment, period. You are, she, she, you just proved you are stupid and racist. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for proving the point, girly. However, 
no, that's not racist. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, so you, so even, let's say, let's say, let's say, Chantal, that that one, that one comment wasn't racist. It was. But let's say it wasn't. Let's just say it wasn't. Again, you literally just said racist things about Nader recently. You constantly use the R slur to talk about disabled people all the time. You've been homophobic. You've been transphobic. Girlie, the list is just, it, it's much longer than that. I can give you more things to address if you want to. I have a whole playlist that's called Examples of Chantal Being Mean. It goes over all of them. Okay, so keep keep looking. Keep taking a look, girlie. Um, that person is obviously just bitter and jealous that they can't be me. And who, who is that person? Is that is that FFG? Why would you zoom in on her face like that? No, ain't nobody gonna look good when you zoom that close up to their face. I have the men in my life. Um, it's a problem, and it's actually scary, and it is harassment, and I'm dealing with it behind the scenes. Okay. Also, I just want to say desperately that you will not find a Tinder account for Sala anywhere. You've said that already 12 times. You are protesting far too much, girly. <laughs> like, like, we get it. We get it. To the point that, like, I'm positive it's real. So, have fun with that. That is clearly fake. People are trying so hard to do anything to make She's it so goofy. and split us up. She's Again, so goofy. it's not going to work. She, Only God good. will keep me from this man. And I, I hope you stay with this man, and I hope he takes every penny. I don't want to see people get scammed, truly. I, I hope she does it. But, like, I don't know how else to, to point out all the red flags to her. In my future. I also don't know where people are surprised about my bitchy community posts. <gasps> my community post being ageist was directly in response, as I said in my video, to this old woman constantly fat shaming me. Okay, okay. People people are questioning where your your ragey community posts are coming because allegedly when you put on this hijab, you became a changed person, a different person. You were a new woman. You you weren't going to rage. I you literally said that in a video. You said that's the old me. That the old me is was the one that raged. I'm a new girl. I'm a new, a new woman. And I think that has manifested itself in anger rages and so on and so forth that you have seen that I'm so infamous for. I will say that that will not be happening anymore. I will be turning a new leaf. I guess for those who are just like, oh, let's see her rage. <laughs> uh, here you go, I guess. I don't know what makes your day, floats your boat, makes you alive in life, but apparently seeing she, rage does it. And she's so goofy. Really, that's really sad that that actually speaks more about you than it ever will about me, honey. <laughs> honey, Stay. honey, honey, don't honey me. <laughs> don't honey me. Do y'all know what that's from? I, I'm trying to remember what I even watched that. Oh, it's on Selling the OC. Did you, did you all watch that? It's like a spinoff of Selling Sunset. Oh my god, one, one woman, she's a British woman, and she, her name's Polly, and this other woman, like, says, blah, 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 honey, and she says, don't honey me. Now, I've addressed my haters ad nauseum, so I want to address my followers and uh -huh. my users, and I just want to say, uh -huh. I miss you guys so much. And okay. Again, I Then make content for them. If this is, if this is about how much you love and appreciate them, then make content for them. You just spent nine and a half minutes of your life responding to the haters. This is the exact same storyline as fucking Amber Lynn right now. Thank you. I'm in a transition period in my life. Me too. I will um, be what? back as soon as I can, but there will be a lot of changes. Uh-huh. Like a lot. Like where? Like where? You've clearly changed so much since the last time you said there's going to be so many changes. But it's going to be a good thing. So be patient and be proud to be a beezer. I mean... I love you guys. I'll see you soon. You don't really have to be too patient in this community because she, she'll she be on some bullshit tonight. I'll work on editing this tonight. She'll be on some bullshit. And by the time I go to post this tomorrow, it'll already be old news and irrelevant, you know? So, um, sure, sure. I don't have to be patient for shit. She'll give us more entertainment within the next 24 hours. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Anyways, sorry. I feel like I was really on it tonight. <laughs> It's anytime I film these videos at night, I'm a little, like, I just have a little bit more energy than when I filmed them earlier in the day. So, 
here we are, besties. Here we are. I don't have much more to say, but who knows how much stuff is going to happen between now and whenever I return from my next trip. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where we check in the next time. All right. But that's all I have time for today. If you're brand new and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave a comment, hit like, click share. Follow me on all my social media, including Twitch, where I react to silly things, and also my gaming channel here on YouTube, and also check out my merch, and also have a great day. Bye!